Hey everypony and folks, this is Wistful Deal here, and welcome back to the channel. We are back at it again with another horror AU. It's definitely been a minute. It's been like eight to nine days or so since I've done a horror AU. So I figured today, why not go ahead and do one for you folks. This one here, Cookie Virus, was requested to me by a subscriber, and I will happily oblige. I figured to go ahead and do this one and to do a horror AU for you folks since I know that's still mainly what you folks are into and everything and it has been a minute so why the heck not. Also two things real quick. I hope the fan in my room is not too loud. It is hot as all hell in here and everything and we're kicking it back up with the late 80s high 90s. Which is as well for tomorrow, which I work on. So that's going to be fun, even though it's only four hours. But still, yeah, summer's not quite over yet from where I am. So I got the fan cooking. So I hope that's not too loud. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. And also, it, let's ignore this guy down here. I don't know what it still is, if you folks can see it or not. This 42 here, my headphones are being... A bit goofy or whatever. I'm probably going to have to get some new ones sometime next week or whatever. But anyway, folks, um, I did have a good birthday, I'd say. We went to a nice restaurant and everything. I got my, I got some cake and everything and ice cream and whatnot. And yeah, so far I'm nice. Crazy that I'm 25. But anyway, it's past my birthday now and time to get back to business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out here. Also, link will be in the description below for you folks who want to go ahead and check this AU out for yourselves. So let's start the cookie virus. Um, stages. Journal entries by... The only reason I know that says Twilight is because she's right there. And it makes sense, obviously, for her to write it. <laughs> anyway, um, beginning stage. Pony is somewhat sane but very hungry. They crave the cookies they were infected with more than anything and are desperately and are desperate to do anything for more. Earliest sign is Rainbow Mozo, pretty much Rainbow Mouth all over the place, and permanent smile or frown. Well, Rainbow would be happy than sad, so. Uh, going blind? Possibly. Brown pupils. Those are black, but... Okay. I guess you can't really tell the difference between black and brown. Um, and rainbow muzzle. Yeah, I'd rather have the Joker laugh or gas than this. <laughs> um, stage 2. Pony sanity is declining. They can still speak, but can't stop thinking about their hunger. They are dangerously desperate for cookies. So much so... They start chasing down and eating anything living in case they have in case they have cookies in their stomach. Uh, that's a bit dramatic there, don't you think? I mean I, I freaking love my I love I too love my grandmother's classic chocolate chip cookies, but I'm not gonna freaking slit open someone's guts out just to see if they have freaking cookies in them. All that digestion and stuff. There's a thing called digestion, folks. And that, and that does not seem appetizing when you're working with the gears like that. Um, anyway, um, the mouths and... The mouths and scratching stomach begin to rot. Hair and mouth feathers begin to fall out. Okay, makes sense. So the mouth is stretched. It's like the smiley smile face or whatever or something like that. There's a hair on my eye. Stretching stretching indicates skin tailing. I can figure on that. Or fur tailing or whatever. Um, losing feathers and hair. AKA skin for that matter. Third stage. Sanity is gone. They can no longer speak and only, excuse me, um, only only make desperate sounds of hunger and anger. They began eating ponies, hoping, hoping for a sweet taste to satisfy their needs. Their mouths are starting to stretch or drop, depending on if they mutated with a smile or frown. Um, 
they are desperately, dangerously skinny, excuse me, different, different parts of the body begin to stretch and change, depending on the pony, manes and, manes, manes and, ugh, manes and tail how start, uh, excuse me, have shade, yeah, shade ponies is unrecognizable besides their cutie mark. All right, then. Um, sunken eyes, the blind, um, incredible sense of smell, and hearing, right? You, you can't forget hearing. Um, skinny, hunger, mutations begin, mutations begin different from every pony, in this case, stretching limbs. Alrighty then. And this one here. Run away! I was gonna say those are antlers, but no, those are wings. Um, final stage pony is, uh, you're partially decrypted. You are partially decrypted. Okay, I'm hoping that's good. Um, Rainbow, da Rainbow Dash's journal, surviving the cookie virus. Oh yeah, that's right, it was her one damn fault. <laughs> I forgot about that till now, on um, that episode. I see where this is going now. I don't know why it didn't click with me till now before, but... Yeah, that episode where she made... That big prank of Cookie Virus, and it was allegedly a prank, or so they say. But not in this one. <laughs> um, this is all my fault. I'm not... I'm not the type to keep a journal, but Rarity says writing down your thoughts can help your... Help your nerves, and keep your thoughts straight. It can, in some sense. I mean, I would have a journal, but I'm a complete shit writer. Motion-wise. Um, right now, me, Applejack, Rarity, and the Cutie Mark Crusaders are hiding out in Sweet Apple Waker's barn. We've barricaded all of the windows and doors, but we can't stay here forever. Unfortunately not. Um, we're all fine, just pretty shaken up. Applejack is looking, is, Applejack is looting the barn finding anything we can eat or use as weapons. She refuses to look at me or even speak to me. Yeah, damn. Rowdy is panicking, that's obvious, but she's trying to calm her sister down. Poor sweetie Belle. Is, poor sweetie Belle. Is it taking away... Is it taking any of this well? She hasn't stopped crying since we got here. Apple Bloom is also trying to comfort Sweetie Belle and help Applejack, but Scooterloo also isn't speaking to me. I don't really blame her. I mean, how is she supposed to know? Quote of this. Um. Well, well, all that swept in Ponyville, as far as I know. We we gave everyone those horrible cookies. And all I can see when I close my eyes is Twilight's twisted grin and Fluttershy's drooping frown. Oh shit, so that's the difference. Interesting. I don't, I don't want to think, I don't want to think about them. Yeah, shit. Pinkie Pie was the first pony who ate a cookie, but I haven't seen her anywhere. I haven't seen her anywhere. She wasn't at Sugar Cube Corner with poor, with the poor cake family, those little cake twins. What have I done? Oh shit, no! Don't tell me the baby twins, or, no. I, I have a feeling now. And there's the cliche song. Anyway, um, the cookie virus stages, the frowning ponies. Um, journal entries by I'm assuming Twilight. No, wait a minute. There's something there. Now, nah, whoever. Anyway, the beginning. Um. Anyway, beginning stage. Same as Smiling Pony. Um. Same as Smiling Pony. Pony still has sanity, but is very hungry. Uh, is very hungry. All they talk about is how they need the cookies they were infected with. Um. Earliest sign of infection is rainbow. The rainbow muzzle. And permanent smile or frown. Pretty much same old, same old. Permanently, dr permanently dropping jaw. What? Well, that, that's jaw dropping. <laughs> Get my shit a joke. Um, unlike smiling pony, pupils eye dilated and eyes begin to sink. Alrighty, so 
So it's safe for you smiling and your eyes are too big or you get a frown and your eyes become that, I guess. <laughs> anyway, second stage. Pony sanity is pony sanity is declining. They can still speak, but they seem but they seem to mumble the word cookies. They are extremely desperate for cookies, so much so they chase down anything that's living. And at this stage, they often find and eat small animals, though if they were confronted by a pony, they won't hesitate to attack. Their mouths and stomach begin to rot, hair and, quote, feathers or whatever begin to fall out. Drop and jaw increases, reducing the skin tearing, and sunken eyes, possibly blindness. Alrighty. So pretty much the same thing, just a bit different. But yeah, damn. Third stage, sanity is completely gone. Pony can, pony can no longer speak, can no longer speak, and can only make desperate sounds of hunger and anger. They began to strictly, strictly talk, whatever, pretty much run after targeting ponies, and hoping for a sweet taste of sanity, of satisfy their needs. So pretty much the same thing, just run over, chase down. Like that one SCP that cries unless you make him not cry. Then he snaps your neck. Um, unlike Twilight Sparkle, who I observed in the past, Fluttershy seems to be seems to drop downward instead of growing taller. Um, do all front um, do all throwing ponies mutate this way? I'm unsure, but it's too dangerous for me to find out. Mane and feathers have completely shed. Pony is left unrecognizable besides cutie mark. Damn. Unhinged jaw? Okay, so I guess they lose their teeth too, pretty much. Eyes kept see eyes keep staring at me. Yeah, it looks a bit unnerving, not gonna lie. Um let's see. Drop in stretchy neck. Yeah, it looks elongated. Oh shit. She saves me. We better get out of there. Um, final state. Okay, here, we can actually read this stuff now. I don't know if it's the same thing for the other one, but I'm pretty sure it is. Final stage. Pony is beyond rec uh, recognizable. Can't even call it pony anymore. Um, blind, question mark, but has incredible hearing and sense of smell. Breathing is rapid and raid. Um, it, it is very hungry. It will lunge and attack at any noise or scent or scent of blood. Stay indoors and lock. Stay indoors and lock the doors. Going outside is guaranteed death. I think she can. I think she can see me. Can she see me? Yeah, she can see you. You're. You're done. <laughs> All right, Rainbow. All right, Rainbow Dash Journal, Part Two: Surviving the Cookie Virus. We um we camped out in the barn for only two nights before we we were spotted. We heard an awful groaning sound, and I took a peek outside and a monkled excuse me a monkled and grinding Granny Smith was slowly approaching the barn. Ah shit! Luckily, she was far away enough for us to have time to pick up a weapon of supplies and a and and book it out and book it out the back door excuse me I ah, saw I need a drink though <coughs> oh god Apple Applejack and I pulled the cart with every pony inside but not even with the not e but not even with the two of us Two of us, the fastest ponies in Ponyville, running in stretch, an awful, an awful thundering sound was echoing behind us. Granny, Granny was chasing us. Apple Bloom, Apple Bloom started to cry. That's my grand. Damn. Yeah, that's sad as well, man. Damn. She's family. We have to keep her. I'm afraid not. Y you can't. Um. I took a look at Applejack, and she had tears in her eyes. That ain't our family no more, Sugar Cube. Man, shit. Why isn't Rarity helping? <laughs> Honestly, Applejack could be with them on the where Rarity's at. 
and just have Rowdy and Applejack use it, right? I mean, that could work, or Rowdy could teleport them away, but I mean, that's a bit too much magic, and with concentration and stuff. Anyway, um, we don't, um, we didn't know when we were head, we, were, we didn't know where we were heading, but it had, but it had to be away from Granny and away from Ponyville. But we were, but we were certainly caught off by a creature, quote, jumping in front of us. Oh, you mean the Big Mac? Um, the, the Big Mac from McDonald's? <laughs> anyway, um, jumping in front of us. It was hard to tell who it was, but in the moment, bef- but in the moment, bef- um, before um, Apple Jack's grandiose scream, I'm positive it was Big Macintosh, or what, or what used to be of it. No, it's just a Big Mac burger. I too would be scared if a freaking Junior Whopper or whatever from McDonald's just appeared out of the woods in front of me. Freaking shit my pants! I saw a big burger like that come at me. Um. Anyway, an effort to get away from him. Applejack and I took a violent. Yeah, a violent, severe, pretty much an aggressive um, turn right from going down a steep hill. It was a really hard, a really hard fall. Everyone fell out of the wagon and the thing crashed, and the thing crashed us into a big apple tree. And a mess, a, in the mess, a, a, a chunk of wagon, um, a piece chunk of a wagon pretty much crashed into my reen, and another fell on Applejack's leg. Ah, shit. My reen hurt like, my reen hurts like hell, and it was all twisted in ways it shouldn't be. But there was no time to shake it off. We had to go. Well, let's hope the little kitties are safe. The cutie mark crusaders. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at them. Oh, no. Um, Rarity... Rarity gathered, quote, all the supplies she could, and Applejack and I carried the cutie mark crusaders on our backs. Applejack was limping harshly with every step, but she was in such a blind panic, I'm not sure she even realized that she was hurt. Applejack led the way and showed us to a little wooded shed in the middle of the, in the middle of the, um, orchard. Applejack said that the part of the orchard was far from the barn, they they built a little shed to hold to hold extra supplies. It was a small and uncomfortable. It was small and uncomfortable. Everyone was pressed against each other. A basement, yeah, a a basket, excuse me, or shovel. But Applejack released us, released, um, reassured us it was only until morning, and when those things were gone, her family. Damn. Well, it, it's better than being in the open, I guess. I could barely sleep. My wind felt broken. And I'm sure Applejack isn't any better. Isn't in any better condition. Plus, I couldn't get Granny's face out of my head or Apple Bloom's cries. So I decided to be the lookout. Staying awake and listening or watching for anything close by. I can't hear. I couldn't hear anything all night. No hoof steps, heavy breathing, nor anything. While well, I'm sure we were safe, I couldn't help but have the feeling that we were just being watched. Yeah, I prefer to. What the heck are you? Is that you, Pinky? Is that you, Pinky, over there? Mean shit. Whoop. Come on, move over. There you go. Applejack's journal, Applejack, Rainbow Dash's journal, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Um, I must have fallen asleep. I must have fallen asleep at some pony at some point because I woke up to Rarity nudging my shoulder. It, it was morning and every pony was awake. Applejack said it was okay to leave. We... We each other grabbed a basket and a, and loaded them with apples for the time being. They'd be our only food, the only be our food source. I, I don't mind having apples. I, I don't mind even living off apples. I freaking love apples. Apples are as much dope as strawberries. 
Um, let's see, where was I? Oh yeah. Um, I had barely I had barely picked up five apples when I heard Rarity shriek, shriek without much thinking. I ran to her. She was holding up a magical gem shield and pushing and pushing back what used to be Big Mac, aka the Big Mac from McDonald's, that the scary burger. Um, she was um, he was thrusting and and grunt and gar and gargling. And Rarity's magic was fading. What should I do? What could I do? It freaking Sonic boom his damn face off. That's what you do. I mean, shit. Um, before I could before I could act, some pony lunged into the scene, whipping whipping out a powerful flashlight and shining it in Big Mac's eyes. Um, eye sockets quote. Um. Big Mac, Big Mac howled and Big Mac howled and took a few, excuse me, a few dizzy steps away. The pony yelled, "Get the Crusaders! Yeah, get the Crusaders! Follow me!" The three of us ran. Applejack being the only, the only one still carrying her apple basket. Rarity and I carried the Crusaders in a blind panic. We followed this pony until we were out, out of breach. And sure, we won't follow. And and sure, we won't follow. We only stopped when Applejack collapsed to the ground. The pony, the pony, turned in to help her, and that's when I got a good look at her. It, it's Pink and Mina. It's Pink and Mina. It, who, who who else could it be? I I wonder who that could be, folks. Looks very similar, but I still can't put my finger on it. Um. Pinkie Pie? Pinkie Pie? I jumped on Pinky for, for a hug, but she shoved me away. This confused me because I've never been detained from a hug from Pinkie Pie before. But she did not... But she did look a lot different. As she helped Applejack to her hooves, I got a good look at her. She had her hair down and, and multiple scars on her body. And her mouth was... Rainbow. Ah, shit, she's infected. Hey, damn, Pinky, you're a freaking badass in this. Um, I'm not infected, Pinky said. And I'm, and I'm bargaining at Fluttershy's cottage. Let's go. Applejack ended up ditching the apple basket, and Pinky Pie carried her on her back. Pinky Pie led us to Fluttershy's. Fluttershy's? Oh, darling, does this mean... Rarity seemed overjoyed, but Pinky sighed. No, she's gone too. I can't figure on that. I, I mean, we saw that earlier, though, honestly. But she's also not home. Hasn't been for a while. Her cottage is far away enough for, from Ponyville that I've been barricading there for a while now. I take it that's a fake disguise that Pinkamina has? Pinkie Pie, Pinkamina. Um, when we got to Fluttershy's, Fluttershy's home, it was just as Pinky said, empty. Not even a single animal, but there were lots of blood, blood critters. Yeah, freaking corpses and shit on the ground of what used to be Fluttershy's critters. I wonder if Fluttershy did this. Yeah, she did. I, I think she did. She did. Pinky led us to Fluttershy's basement and grabbed a medical kit bandaging up Applejack's leg before doing the same to my wing. Yeah, damn. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if you're here right now. I'm sorry. It's cool, I replied. My wing hurts, but it felt better. But it felt better in the swing. Now I need answers from you, Pinky. We can't keep secrets during this. during this. What's happened to you? Are you infected? Pinky looked around the room and sighed. Can I speak to you alone? I I wanted I wanted to argue I wanted to argue to tell her that whatever she had to say, she could say she could say it to every pony. But the way she spoke was suddenly soft. She sounded on the verge of tears, so I agreed. Yeah, damn. I guess she is infected after all, and she's holding back, I guess. 
We made our way upstairs and quietly looked through all, all of the windows to make sure we haven't been followed. Pinky sighed and turned to me, tears welling up in her eyes. Oh, Rainbow, this is all my fault. It, it's Rainbow Dash. She's the one that did the prank. Honestly. Let's see. Journal entry. Trigger warning. Character death. Well, thanks for the spoiler. Um, I was shocked. Pinky just admitted that this virus was entirely her fault. But I thought it was my own. Okay, we're shutting up the music now. Sorry. But I thought it was entirely my own. No, Pinky, it couldn't be. I was the one who fed every pony those cookies. I fed every pony the cookies. Tears were sh tears were swimming down Pinky's face, so I couldn't so I could tell this wasn't a time to argue. Even if I wanted to take all the blame, she continued to explain herself. I'm I'm sure Applejack told you by now, but this was all meant to be a terrible prank on you to to want to own to one up you and it was all my fault. Oh yeah, damn, she baked them. When you when you came to me with the idea to prank the whole town with those rainbow joke cookies, I came I came up with the idea to prank you into thinking we all become quote zombies from from eating them. But after you but after you fed me that first cookie, I felt Odd. It was hard to explain. It was hard to explain what the feeling was. But more than anything, I felt ill. But I was too. Det I was too determined to get you back. This was the perfect chance. I forced everyone in Ponyville to buy at least one or two boxes of the cookies, even convulsing, even can even convincing those who didn't want the cookies to partake. To participate, yeah, yeah, participate, excuse me. I, I ignored how sick those cookies made me in order to one-up you. And now I've murdered everyone in Ponyville. Damn. Shit, man. Pinky crumbled on the, Pinky crumbled on the floor. Um, Pinky crumbled on the floor. Tears, um, yeah, I'm assuming something tears. Um, despite her apology, I still didn't believe she had anything to apologize for. I kneeled down and wrapped her and wrapped her in my good wing. Oh, Pinky, none of this is your fault. It's not like you made those cookies. There's no way you could yeah, exactly. No way she could have known. No way Apple not Applejack or uh, Rainbow Dash could have known either. Pinky sniffed. R right. But I have been wondering what did you put in those cookies that made these ponies become this? I blink I blinked at Pinky. I didn't make the cookies. Don't you remember? I said I had a special or I had a special I had special ordered them from someone in Canterlot. I didn't I didn't want to order them from Sugar Cube Corner or else it ruined the prank. Pinky perked up at that fact, confused now on her face. But if you didn't make those cookies, then who who did? What? Maybe Twilight, I guess. Um, we were interrupted. We were interrupted by a horrible sound outside. Help me! Help me! Um. And and instinctively, Pinky, Pinky, and I instinctively, Pinky and I made it back down into Fluttershy's basement. Our sudden entrance. Our sudden entrance startled everyone inside. Scootaloo spoke. What? What happened? Pinky immediately swooshed her and we listened. Help me! Help! Please! She sees me! Apple Bloom gasped. That's that's a pony. There's a pony out there. Apple Bloom started running. Apple Bloom started running up the stairs before Applejack grabbed her by the tail. Apple Bloom, no! Apple Bloom yoinked herself away from her sister. There, there's a pony out there. We need to help. We need to help. Our family is gone, Applejack. Just like you said, I have to help every pony I can before it's too late. It, the, the infection, though. 
Apple Bloom the infection. <laughs> but for when any of us could grab her, Apple Bloom was running up the stairs and outside. Apple Bloom, stop! Applejack, um, Applejack, uh, yeah, Applejack desperately screamed as her sister ran away. Um, in, in, instinctively, every pony was going after Apple Bloom as the cries for help outside continued. It sounded like a male pony, one I recognized for sure. Apple Bloom burst out of Flirtsize Cottage and and turned to the corner to where the cries were coming from. And, help, help, that's not a pony. Oh shit, I have a fear. <laughs> help, help, yep, I figured. I had a feeling. Damn. <laughs> that is depressing. No. It's just like, uh. Yeah, it's just like skin. No, not possibly Skinwalker or Rindigo. Well, they call out cries of your loved ones, it's believed, to help. They set that up as bait for you to lure in and to get you by calling out your name or something. But it sounds like someone that you recognize in your social circle. Damn! The scream that came out of Apple, the scream that came out of Applejack was the worst thing I ever heard. There was there was nothing we could do but watch as Apple Bloom was devoured. Shit! Ah, uh, that's, that's horrible, man. Um, even Pinky was too paralyzed to do anything. Things couldn't get any worse. Then Sweetie Belle started, started charging at the creature. Rarity's scream mimicked Applejack's Sweetie Belle, um, mimicked Applejack's, Applejack's. Sweetie Belle's horn was lit, and I could tell she was trying to blind the creature as Pinky once did. But as soon as her horn lit up, it went out. Not her too. No. No. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like that character, that YouTuber viral guy was like, No, don't do it. No. Oh, God. No, not her too. No. That's why you don't avenge sometimes. No, fuck, man. Well, I'm not gonna get headless sweaty bell out of my head now. Thanks, show you. Um, Pink, Pinky was behind Sweetie Bell in an instant. Um, whip, whipping out her flat, her own flashlight, and success, and successfully stunning the creature. The horrible thud of Sweetie Bell's lifeless body. Was such a was such a sinking noise. Pinky didn't say anything, but as soon as the creature was stunned, we were shoved back inside the cottage. God, god damn! Fuck, man! Why didn't you do anything? Applejack was screaming at Pinky. Pinky hushed Applejack. Pinky hushed Applejack by putting a hoof over her mouth. But Applejack immediately shoved her away. Re retaliated, pretty much. Apple Applejack jumped on Pinky and held her pin in her. You could have saved her! Both of them! Why didn't you pull out your stupid little flashlight then? Would, would you keep your voice down? She can hear us from down here. I don't give an apple tree's root about keeping quiet. Our, si our sisters are dead. Jaco said rat's ass too. <laughs> um Scurrilou started sobbing. I was surprised when she when she buried her face into my uh, into my chest as she was clearly angry with me with me before. But I wrapped my ring around her, comforting her anyway. Damn. Rarity stepped in. Uh, Applejack, Pinky is right. We we need to wait until we're s we need to wait until we're safe. We're good on we're good on we we're good on we to be our sisters if if we're also dead. 
Applejack hesitated before letting Pinky go. The next few hours were silent besides the horrible cr- the horrible crunch the horrible crunching outside, excuse me. Once it was silent and we were and we were sure we were alone, Rarity found her voice. So what do we do now? Everyone looked at Pinky. She sighed and kept her head down. Ponyville is done for now. And at this rate, the infected will start leaving this town and invading the rest of Equestria. We obviously need help. From the princesses? I spoke up. But Cantalon is so far away. There's no way we can leave Ponyville without getting... I, I trailed off. I trailed off thinking about Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle. Who, who else do we go to? Besides, you said you ordered those cookies from a bakery in Canterlot, right? If we if we make it in there, maybe we can also find the find the culprit. The 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 key ingredient, I guess. I don't know. Um. Anyway, Apple Applejack made eye contact with me. The first she had in a long, long time. Wait, you didn't make those cookies? I shook my head. I, I could tell Scooter Lou she was also relieved by this news. Though, I still felt like this was all my fault, nonetheless. Damn. But how, but how do we get to Canterlot? The fastest way, the fastest way there is by flight, but my wing is busted. How about by train? Applejack suggested. Oh, oh, I doubt the trains still run through here after all of this. She's right. She's right. We all looked at Pinky. The train, the train's the best option. I tried escaping on the, I tried escaping on the train days ago, but it had long been abandoned and considered eat, and, con, and considered eaten. If we can get, if we can get that train running again, we can make it to Canterlot. She does have a point. Epilogue. Pinky survival, ti- survival tips. I'm right here. Fluttershy, the first one who's infect... Excuse me. Fluttershy, one of the first infected, returned to her cottage after days of being of missing. She lured out her victims by mimicking the voice of a pony she had eaten. I have, a, I have identified this voice to Dr. Hooves. Oh, shit. I spent... Um, I suspect the doctor was the reason she was missing, let his guard down, and got himself eaten. If you hear a pony calling for help, ignore it. Stay indoors as soon as you can. Some of the frowning ponies mimic the screams of their victims. Yeah, damn. It, this shit just is like Wendigo or Skinwalker stuff. It's like Until Dawn, that uh, motion game or whatever from the PS4 or something. Trigger one in blood, gore, scammy imagery. Ah, we, we don't care. Moving. <coughs> Running my voice dry. Anyway, we, we went for maybe two or three days. It was hard to keep track in the basement. Apple, Applejack claimed her leg was feeling better, though. My wings still felt busted. Most most of our time was spent in silence or mo- mourning. Applejack and Rarity were still mourning over their little sister's loss. Well, yeah, no shit. Gr- gruesome deaths. Rarity often quietly sobbed while Applejack be- being on the edge and got angry at the smallest of things. We had very, we had very different morning. We had a very difficult morning process. Eventually, Pinky wanted to try and intimidate, intimidate her, intimidate her. We're planning, um, planning on repairing the train and heading to Canterlot. She watched and listened outside for Fluttershy or any other infected before we stepped out of the cottage. I noticed Sweetie and Applejack's bodies. Sweetie and Apple Bloom's bodies were gone, excuse me. <clears throat> at first we silently walked for a few feet few feet going at a slow, gentle pace when Rarity suddenly hushed us. You hear that? Shh. 
there was there was there was laughter in the distance, but nothing like normal laughter. Like you hear at a party. It sounded sinister, bro broken, excuse me, and dead. Pinky, without saying a word, shoved us forward into into a sprint. The laughter started following us. Ah shit. Pinky spotted Scooterloo on her back since she couldn't run as fast as us. She must have she must have gone a look at what was behind us because she shredded because she I guess stood shrieked, excuse me, my words and shit, my reading, shredded horrifically. This caught the attention of other infected as well. We were starting to be chased by ha by half of Ponyville. Ah, shit. Don't stop until we get to the station, yelled Pinky. Our lungs were, our lungs were burning by the time the abandoned train station came, in, came into view. The train was luckily in a better state than I expected. Than I expected. Blood splatters trained inside the car, inside the cars. However, permissibly from previous passengers, but otherwise, it seemed perf in perfect condition. We ran inside and ducked under the seats. Applejack stopped to pull the door shut. To pull the door shut. Slammed. Slammed loudly. As a smiling pony ran straight into it. A loud crash immediately. Pinky and Applejack were on the engine. Trying to get the train running. Rarity held Scootaloo close as infected ponies started ramming themselves into the train. Holy shit, this is like freaking a quiet place level here or some shit. Um, the car rocked with every violent shove. Sounds of groaning and giggling and emulating from outside. Suddenly, a, suddenly a mutated, mungled whatever hoof shattered the thick glass of the train car. Covered in blood and, gl and broken glass, but still desperately trying to get in. I was panicking. Have you guys forgot? Have you guys figured it out yet? Trying. Just hang on. We almost got it. I mean shit. Um, more glass shattered around us. Horrific and sh horrific and sh horrific and whatever. Sounds, whatever. Faces of our family, faces of our friends and family, peeling inside. Scootaloo screamed, and we tried to move away from them. Then we started moving. The train slowly s starting, pretty much, before taking off at a rapid speed. The infected pony struggled to hang on before falling off miles away from us. I sighed in relief. I'm still unsure of how they managed to start the train. Applejack tried to explain it to me, but honestly, I zoned out after the word. Yeah, I don't know what that word is either. Finally, finally, we got out of town. I hope I have never. To, I hope I have to never see those things again. Though I feel guilty for leaving our friends behind. I hope we can still. I hope we can still save them. Damn. <laughs> Surviving virus. All right. Trigger warning, scary imagery and faces. Whoa, whoa, what is going on with Lyra's kill, by the way, too? Okay, I'm turning. No, I'm turning you off. We want you off. God's sake. Hate when that happens. Anyway, um, the trip to Cantalot. The trip to Cantalot would be a long one. Three hours at the least. For a while, we took the time to calm down. Moving up to the engine while Pinky, cons well, Pinky conducted because the wind blowing through the broken windows was hurting our ears. We we were pretty cramped, but I'm glad we were all together. After a little, after a little too much silence, Scootaloo spoke up. We're going to save every pony, right? Even Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle. Uh I'm afraid not those two, unfortunately. Every pony every pony fell into a tense silence at that. Poor Scootaloo. I'm sure she's still in denial about her friends being well decapitated. Yeah. I mean, I, I would be too if I were a kid. I mean, that's kind of fucked up to see. You, you, that's not easily something you just brush off. 
Remedy ended up being brave enough to respond. How about we talk about something else, Scooter Lou, to, uh, line up the mood, darling? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay, Pinky. How did you get those scars? The Joker, obviously. <laughs> um, I, I chuckled while, Ap while Applejack gasped. Scooter Lou, that's not polite. Pink Pinky seemed to giggle as well. No, no, it's okay. I'm I'm surprised it didn't come up even sooner. It's not a very nice story though. Is that okay, Rarity? Rarity said she was okay with it. She knew she knew she just wanted to talk about anything other than Sweetie Belle. Well, when things started to well, thing, well when things started to go berserk and you all went missing, I decided to start talking. I decided to start talking ponies into Flirtshite's cottage to avoid the infection to, to, to avoid the infected, excuse me. But once ponies got a good luck at my mouth, they were also they were all so afraid of me they just ran away. Eventually Lyra, Lyra Heartstreams agreed to to bunker with me. But I'm not sure you all know. She was the one Twilight's she was one of Twilight's old Cantalot friends. Is that is that true exactly? I don't know. Everyone seemed everyone seemed intense at Twilight's name, so Pinky quickly continued. Anyway, I anyway, I fed her and gave her some blankets to keep warm. I can tell she was I can tell she was troubled, and she told me it's because her girlfriend, Bonbon, bon, had become infected with the cookies. She apparently watched her mutate into a monster. Really sad thing to happen. It, damn. Yeah, that's not depressing. It, oh, shit. What, what do we got here? Wait, what's with your eye here? What's with your eye, though? She's got, like, a line, though. Um, That night when I fell asleep, Ryla must have found an axe, axe with some of my stored weapons. While I was sleeping, she attempted to kill me, smashing the axe across my face. I didn't really know why she did it, but I'm sure she was still afraid and heartbroken for Bonbon bon and thought I was infected. So I don't really blame her for what she did. After that, she ran off. I never saw her again. Wait, hang on, but she's... Did she just miss and she ran off? Like, <laughs> take that and... Ran off or something and completely missed, I guess. Well, I guess she partially got her and just ran off and Pinky healed herself with the scars. Or they healed themselves. I was shocked. We all were. We sat there staring at Pinky's, at Pinky's, at Pinky, expecting her to continue. When she didn't, Applejack spoke up. How did you survive an attack like that? I don't know. It hurt as much as it should, like my face was being cut open. But after a few minutes, the pain just went away. Do you think you got some kind of super healing powers from the them cookies? Pinky Pinky shrugged and said she she did she doesn't know for sure, but but that seemed to be the only logical explanation. Then Scootaloo approached Pinky and pulled her and pulled her mane and exposed a giant teeth mark on her neck. Well, about, what about this scar? I'm not talking about that scar. It, it, shit, god damn. Pinky pushed Scootaloo away, and immediately turned around, looked ahead. Scootaloo was in my arms in an instant, nursing her face into my torso, quote, yeah, coat, torso, whatever. I glared at Pinky, despite um, despite her not facing us. Scootaloo sniffed, which must have caught Pinky's attention. I'm I'm sorry, Scootaloo. That's another sad story. Well, can I make it a happy one? Pinky was surprised by this. I could tell. I could tell, but she agreed. Well, when, well, after Lila attacked Pinky. Lila apologized. She was sorry for what she did and wanted to make it up to her. So Lila pulled out a little puppy dog for Pinky. 
Pinky was very happy to have a new puppy friend. So Pinky and Lila played with the puppy all night until Pinky felt better. The puppy, the puppy got too playful and bit Pinky, and bit Pinky on accident. But in but in a but in a pup, but in a puppy voice, a, Rick, aka whimpered, apologized, and licked it better. The end. I was expecting that was the infected mark or some shit, or it probably is. This clearly made Pinky very happy. She thanks Skirlu for the story and. Wait, wait. There's something on the tracks. Oh god damn it! It just just ram it over. Just freaking ram that shit. Thank you for enjoying my stuff. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's cute. Even the infected's smiling. See you guys in the next one. Uh, blah 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 blah. Hey, you're you're good. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing music again. Um, I'm sorry if I keep going back and forth between music, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess we could just turn you down. Anyway, um, I'm I'm having a hard time processing. Okay, you know what? This music's too distracting. Some music's distract me from reading. I guess concentrating. Anyway, I'm having a hard time processing what just happened. What we just witnessed to any, to any pony else, the creature that stopped itself on the train tracks would have been nothing more than a horrific monster. But we, but we could all tell that it was Twilight, or what used to be of it. Applejack was the first to see her and tried to warn Pinky. What is that thing? Is that... Oh no. It can't... Oh no. It can't be stopped. The train. You're going to hit her. Pinky shuddered but kept her eyes on the train on the track. No. It's best we run that thing over than stop and get eaten. I'm sorry. No pony seemed to want to agree to agree. S- a- agree. So we all so we all held our breaths and braced for impact. Yeah, freaking ram that shit. It all oh, god damn it. You, she can use her magic. Well, that's lovely. Goody good. Um, it's hard to recall what happened, but the next thing I knew, I was lying on the floor, on the floor of the of the of the derailed train. The sound of screaming is what jolted me awake. Upon coming to the engine of the train, train was blast open. What was was blast open? Oh. Was blast was was blast open of all of us halted further back into the train cars. The infected pony was peering into the blast hole of the train car and laughing uncontrollably, sounding sounding like a crowd of ponies laughing at once. It, it, that that's called the echo effect. Well, it seems like the voices carry on a chain for a tunnel. That's an echo effect. That's what we call echo. Um, we all shortly, we all shortly tried pro- processing, pressing ourselves further into the train car when the monster's horn started, started to strike and eliminate threat, um, threatening another magical blast. But suddenly it, it shrieked in pain and stumbled away from the train car. The reason why I couldn't tell at first until I saw a pony running towards us or rather, a zebra. It's a cola. Zeb 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 zebra cola. <laughs> I like the cola. Nice. Oh, she has a whistling effect. Not a flashlight. Um, it was undoubtedly the cola holding some sort of flute in her mouth, blow, blowing with ev- blowing with everything she had. It was ear piercing, but it seemed to affect Twilight more than any of us. Hurry and follow me to the forest. We must flee. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We must flee to the forest before we get uh, eaten by the beasten or something. We were we were all in pretty bad shape from the train being to being to, to, from the train going off the hinges or whatever. But it was either follow her or get eaten. 
no contest where we we all hopped out of the train car and followed the car to the ever free forest when Applejack started screaming behind us. N- no, not Applejack, shit. I could feel the cover of my face when I turned around and saw Applejack's legs caught in Twilight's jawline. Applejack desperately trying to crawl away. Sakura was on the scene in an instant, blowing blowing her whistle with her full chest. Twilight re- t- twi- twi- reacted, but didn't drop Applejack. Still, still standing, still standing up, m- multiple feet tall, dangling, dangling her threateningly to run, and take Applejack with her. We need something louder than that whistle, Pinky yelled. I'm afraid not, unfortunately. I was shocked when Rarity, when Rarity res- I was shocked when Rarity responded responded instantly. I tried to stop her as she ran back to the train, jumping onto the train jumping jumping into the engine into the engine and magically pulling the lever. The the train responded with a loud whistle and puffing smoke. Twilight shrieked at the noise and dropped Applejack, who I heroically caught caught her caught her on my back. With no delay, we all ran from the scene and into the forest, leaving Twilight behind. Man, shit. We kept running and running until Sakura reassured us we are safe. Frankly, I'm surprised we all made it out of there alive. Scootaloo had her hooves around Sakura's leg. As soon as we stop, as soon as we stopped to rest, oh Sakura, I'm so glad you found us. I thought we were goners for sure. I was surprised to see a train running. I was surprised to see a train running through. I'm relieved to see you all too. <laughs> yeah, me too, Sakura. Me too. I'm. I'm sure you've been. Are you sure? I'm sure you've been aware of the chaos in Ponyville. We've been trying to make it to Canterlot to get help of the princesses to put an end to all this, Pinky said. Canterlot is well I'm headed too. I hope I could be I hope I could be one to lead all of you. Some infected ponies responded badly to loud sounds. So so blowing a whistle sends them running, I have found. Nice. Good Good thing you found good good thing you found that out. I didn't even I didn't even want to know we would be running into the Everfree Forest, but I'm glad you're here with us, Sakura, Rarity said. Yeah, me too. But Applejack's infected now, shit. As we started as we started venturing further and further into the forest, I can tell Applejack was falling behind. Applejack, are you okay? Is that bite leg is that bait? Um, is, um, is it, is it your bitten leg? Do you need me to carry you or anything? No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's actually my, uh, my, uh, hurt leg from before. The blast must have made it, made it bad all over again. Applejack shouted unsure, but I decided to shrug it off. If she says she's fine, then she's fine. Applejack never lies. It, that is true. She is she's freaking honesty after all. Epilogue, Pinky Survival Tips, another one. Previously I discovered frowning ponies, um um negatively ne- whenever it responded to bright lights negatively. Um but I could never crack what what could resemble smiling ponies. That is until the court rescue does from start from Twilight Sparkle. We had turned, um, who had turned into a final stage smiling pony. So Sakura blew, Sakura blew a loud whistle. Made 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 out of a yank, yak horn, making the infect making the infected. Um, it pretty much irritates them with the noise or something, I guess, from attacking. I guess some of these smiling ponies react negatively to loud noises, similar to frowning ponies react negatively to being flash banged. Alrighty, <coughs> thank you for your support. Thank you for your AU. My voice is running dry as hell, but we're almost done, I think. Sakura so led us through the Everfree Force on our way to cancel lot to get help. Turns out she was headed there for some for the same reason. Um, 
I remained, I, I remained in my hut for as long as I could, but I knew for long I wouldn't be secured. But to my luck, a pony came, came, came in from the shelter. It was Starlight Glimmer, begging me to help her. Starlight is still alive? Rody gasped in hope, but Sakura hung, but Sakura hung her head, hung her head, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, Star. Starlight's fate is not is not confirmed. For after she visited me, she she never returned. The pony was safe in my hut, to be sure, but but all she wanted was to find a cure. It, it was a tall it was a it was a tall order to make a remedy so strong um, a remedy so strong. She did not accept this and told me I was wrong. So I so I instructed her. Go retrieve me a cookie that started this mess. Then I can wipe up a cure, or at least do my best. I see, so... So there was some conflict between the two. Sakura's so saying by having the, the those cookies or whatever, she could find a cure. And Glimmer's all like, no, 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 you dumb bitch. You, you don't need a cookie or something, I guess. So like Glimmer left without pause... But since then, finding her has been a lost cause. The, the infected ponies were soon creeping towards my hut, but there was no way I could just stay put. Yeah, no kidding. I left for Cantalot to I left for Cantalot to find help and wait, as afraid Ponyville so has suffered its fate. Yeah, true, honestly. And and you got the writing, the Sakura writing too. I like that. As I roamed, I, sc- I discovered something profound, like how swearing ponies do not like loud sound. And as another pony and 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 as another pony hunted me by by smell, covered myself and mud made it harder. I can't tell. Pinky and I looked at each other before immediately ducking ourselves in in a mud bath. I, I followed up by Scootaloo and Applejack doing this, the same. Despite the situation, I couldn't help but smile as we all got muddy. Okay, nice. Nothing like a little mud. Of course, Rarity groaned and stepped away from the mess. A flick of mud was was, was splattered on Rarity's face, followed by a chuckle from Sakura. I know you don't like dirt, Miss Rarity, but covering yourself with mud is unnecessary. It's unnecessary, for Rarity that is. With much hesitation and arguing, Rarity eventually allowed herself to get muddy. Well, muddy enough, Sakura seemed to be seemed to finish with her story, despite us having so many questions, most of which were about starlight and a possible cure. But Sakura didn't have any of those answers. The journey, the journey would be about three, a three day walk. Sakura told us we want, we we wanted to, we wanted to trade carefully in case any infected ponies reached out this far, as Twilight somehow beat us here, and she was still a problem. Oh, Twilight! I don't think I could bail another friend of mine turning into one of those fiends. Then Applejack collapses. And that is, that is it, I guess. Next entry is something big, so stay tuned for that. Oh, okay then, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, alrighty, folks. Well, that is the Cookie Virus as of now. So far, I really like this one. This one is really good. It's such a simple concept, too, because everything was laid out from the one episode. You just expand upon it, but... <clears throat> but yeah, I honestly liked it. I liked how they add a bit more stuff towards it and just went off of that. I overall really like this one because it, it, it's legit. You have a forefront. You just expand upon that. But yeah, folks, that is is pretty much it here. I felt so bad for Apple Bloom and Sweetie Bell. Like, fuck, man. That That was pretty messed up. I was also surprised for Twilight to just appear out of the train or whatever. I honestly, I generally think it's kind of hopeless in this AU. I have a feeling the sisters are gone, the princesses, I mean, that they're gone. 
and that they're no longer there. That's what I have a feeling of, and that a Christian is complete shit, I feel. That's my theory, but anyway, folks, that is pretty much mainly it for this AU and this video here, folks. I hope you guys overall enjoyed this one. Again, if you folks want to check this out for yourselves, feel free to in the description box below. As of now, folks, I'm going to get myself a glass of water. I hope the fan wasn't too much of a bother since it's hot in here. And I hope this little burger here, this 42 here, wasn't too much in the way, if you folks can see it. But anyway, folks, as I've said, that is pretty much it as of now. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you all sooner or later. Bye-bye, everypony.